to my channel Wheel of Fortune Psychic Tarot. My name is Mia and in today's video I have another one of my channeled angel letter readings for you from your deceased loved one. So angelic, heavenly, high vibrational, uplifting messages from your people in heaven, okay? As you can see, I have three groups for you to choose from. For group number one, we have the card with the number 44 on it. It says Supermoon and Attraction. For group number two, we have the card number 31, and it says Worm, Moon and Faith, with this pregnant woman on it. And for group number three, we have the card number seven, and it says Waxing Crescent Five, Nourishment. Beautiful card. Now, all you have to do, as always, is to just close your eyes, take a deep breath, pause the video if you have to, think of your deceased loved one, and then when you think you're ready, Open your eyes and see which one of the three cards calls your attention the most. Do not overthink it. Let your intuition decide. And then you can have a look in the description box down below where you'll find the timestamps for each individual group. So I will see you there. Hi everyone who chose group number one or card number 44, Supermoon Attraction. This is your reading. By the way, these lovely oracle cards were kindly gifted to me by Alexandra. I'm saying her name with a German accent because she is German. So thank you so much. If you too would like to send in a tarot or an oracle card deck, there is a link in the description box down below. Otherwise, other ways to support me are by always liking and commenting on my videos, subscribing, turning on the bell for notifications, sharing them to spread the word and help other people in your situation find me so that I can guide them through grief and connect them with their loved ones, okay? But yeah, so um, today's reading will be one of my letter style readings. So when I'll be saying I, I will not be referring to myself as a reader, I'll be referring to your person's point of view. And um, there will also be a little numerology reading for each group at the end of the letter, so know that. And yeah, if you found this video in real time on the 11th of January, then it's going to be even more powerful because yeah, we have one, one, one. If not, it doesn't matter because it is timeless. And before I get started, I just want to say a few things about this card. So you felt drawn to this beautiful image here of this person sitting on the field, looking up to the sky, watching the stars and this big, big super moon. And it says attraction and the number four will be very relevant to you, probably. So if you haven't already, then watch my video that I did on angel numbers if you want to find out more about the number four. Um, but yeah, I can feel that you are longing for your loved one because you're missing them a lot and you are very determined to have a spiritual and psychic connection with them to establish that new relationship and I feel like you want to attract and manifest powerful signs from them and this is confirmation guys that it's working okay so you should have been receiving signs and um a strong way for you guys to connect with your person in heaven will be through dreams, all right? And through just looking at the night sky and maybe seeing a shooting star, seeing some beautiful constellations, seeing beautiful formations with clouds in the evening. This is a reminder to spend some alone time in nature like this woman here sitting outside and just watching the sky. And I promise you, you will attract and manifest some positive answers from your loved one if you do that and if you make that a ritual so that's very very beautiful love this card and now let's start reading out your angel message from your loved one okay one 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 means that we are all connected and that the universe is there to serve you and um 
the number one is a powerful, powerful number when it comes to um, manifestation and attraction. So know that what you are wishing for from your loved one, you can make it happen if you open up um, to the energies of the universe. Okay, so let's all think of your person right now. Let's channel them together. Time and space are relevant. Think of them. Maybe look up to the skies. You're watching my reading. And let's get started. What do they want to say to you in their powerful angel message? I know that you're feeling abandoned and left behind. You are really struggling with your feelings and emotions and you're feeling so lonely and in the dark, you feel like you will never be happy again, you'll never be whole again. And even though you really want to find a way out of your situation, you believe that you can't. You think that you will never see the light again. You don't know how to have a fresh new start and um, find joy and happiness and a path ahead of you without me. But I'm here to remind you today that it is very much possible and that death is not the end. I have a lot of empathy for you and I'm so sorry you're going through all of this, but I want you to raise your vibrations today and to focus on the fact that I'm still alive. It's only my physical body and all material possessions that I left behind and that are forever gone. But what's never gone is my undying love for you, my spirit and soul are so alive still and if this letter today is resonating with you then please see it as proof that I am still here with you. I'm with you every single step of the way and if you just spend some time to ground yourself and if you just try to heal yourself I promise you that I will send you some beautiful signs to encourage you, to cheer you on. I want to guide you. You are not alone. You're never alone. You're just struggling to see it because your vision is clouded by grief and your negative emotions. I want to heal your heart so much. Please let me do it. All you need to do is open up to the possibility of finding a way out of this, of still finding love and happiness, even if I'm not with you anymore in the physical. But always remember that I'm with you in spirit all the time. I've been trying to send you signs, as I said, and the best way for the two of us to connect is if you spend some alone time at night before you go to bed. Just take a moment to breathe, exhale, release all negative emotions. Be still, be calm for a while, watch the night sky and you might find a little sign from me there. Know that I wish that I could send you extremely powerful signs, but I can't because we are in different dimensions. We are both limited by this separation between the two worlds and because you are in the physical material realms, I can't make any miracles happen but please try and see the small signs that I am sending. And the more you do that, the more you work on it, the more you work on attraction, on attracting and manifesting signs from me, the bigger they will get. Just do not give up. I will send you signs. I will not give up. And I hope we can have our spiritual and psychic connection become stronger and stronger every day. Just like this knight in shining armor, I want to be that person for you who supports you by sending all my love and all my light down upon you. I want to guide you through the dark. I want to reassure you that there is a higher purpose and that everything that happens, happens for a reason, the good and the bad. I'm so committed 
to making you feel our spiritual bond. I'm so committed to helping you grow from this heartbreaking experience and have this epiphany and this deep inner knowing that death is not the end, that all that matters is the soul and the spirit bond and that you and I, we will meet again. I want you to be so sure of the fact that you will go to heaven when it's your time to cross over and that you will meet every single loved one there that you have lost, especially me. I'll be waiting there for you and I can't wait to hold you in my arms and hug you and welcome you to the heavens. But until then, we will be in touch, living in different dimensions, but I'm telling you communication is absolutely possible. You know this too because you've been asking for signs, so I don't need to tell you this, but yeah, especially today, as I'm sending you this letter, I'm reminding you that you can also receive words from me, written words, words that you can hear. Songs will be a big sign between the two of us. So make it a ritual that before you go to bed, as I've been saying, spend some alone time, look up to the sky and maybe listen to music and hopefully you will hear me speaking to you through this music, through the melody, through the lyrics. And I'm also reminding you that you need rest. You have been going through so much emotionally and mentally. I'm so worried about you. So please take a step back and don't think that you are a failure just because you stop and pause things for a minute. It's not your time yet to start a new journey. Before you find joy and happiness and a new path for yourself, you need to heal. You need to relax. You need to be still. You need to be peaceful. You need to find peace. And I promise you that even though you might think you need to move on now, and even though you might be feeling a little bit impatient because this situation has been so unbearable, telling you the more you rest the more you spend time on healing yourself on the inside which unfortunately you can't see as much on the outside the more you do that the more you will attract and manifest a beautiful prosperous abundant loving energy entering your life coming from within you are so beautiful i want to remind you today you're so beautiful on the inside and out and if I failed to tell you this when you were still alive, I'm reminding you today. I really see you as such a beautiful soul and being. And you might think you're ugly. Ugly because you're going through ugly phases of your life now with grief and everything else that's going on. Or you just don't have a lot of self-love. But that's not true. You're beautiful and you will shine your light again when you rest and go through this darkness i'm here to guide you don't worry all you need to do is trust me pause relax focus on yourself and things will take up speed before you know it but allow yourself that break from life allow yourself to be alone because that's where you find healing and that's where you find me You might be thinking that I'm crazy or that I have no idea what I'm talking about when I tell you that you will be extremely successful in the rest of your life because you can't see it. All you see now is pain and grief and hurt. But once you come out of this phase of healing yourself, of taking a break, there's this amazing successful path ahead of you. You can attract and manifest anything that your heart desires if you put in the work. But before you do that, as I've been saying, and it's so important to me that you do that, you need to learn how to love yourself, to nurture yourself and to heal yourself. You need healing. But I'm getting so excited talking to you about how amazing the rest of your life will be after this break. So keep on attracting these positive energies. Keep on manifesting them. Visualize them as well at night before you go to bed. Imagine how you want your life to be like and that's exactly how it will be. You have the power to do that.
And if you ever have any doubts about yourself, about your future, about anything, then know that you are guided and protected, not just by me, I am your guardian angel, but also by your spirit guides. And you have a spirit team watching over you. Nothing can harm you. Just be sure of that. Life will never throw more at you than you can handle. I promise you. So be confident. Know that you are loved and protected and that success is on the way. The only thing that's in the way is your hurt from grief that you need to heal. And finally, I want to say to you that I am at peace. So never worry about me, okay? Worry about yourself. Do not worry about me. I'm completely at peace. I'm healed. That's why I can be there for you this much. That's why I am ready to shine my light on you because I am in a very high vibrational place. And know that I forgive you. If there is anything that you feel bad about, regretful about, know that you are forgiven. There is absolutely no negative energy between the two of us. I am love. I am light. There is nothing that you should feel sorry for ever. Even right now, don't think you're a failure. Don't think you disappoint me. That's not true. That's all in your head. And because you really need to be hearing this right now, I am your protector. I have this knight and shining armor energy that I'm using to guide you through whatever darkness you're going through. You do not need to be scared ever. I'm here to watch over you every step of the way because I love you so much. Okay, guys, that was the letter so far. I really hope it brought you clarity and comfort, um, but we're not ready yet. You are going to get some number um, messages as well from your loved one. A little numerology reading. Let me know if you enjoy that and I uh, will do that more often in my other readings. So again, quick reminder, watch my video about angel numbers so that you will understand the messages that you are about to get even better. Okay, so let's ask your person what other messages they have for you today in this angelic reading. Hopefully this is not going to be too loud, so protect your ears because I'm about to drop these dice. Wow, I destroyed my whole um, layout here. This landed on number four. So we have two fours here. Guys, oh my god. This card that you chose says four four. Now we have two dice that say uh, four four. Um, then we also have zero, zero. We have um, the number 20, the number 11, guys. A strong reminder, if you found this video in real time on the 11th of January, then um, that's, you know, just such a meaningful um, confirmation from your loved one that you really needed to hear this message today, that it will bring you um, clarity and healing that your person really wanted to come through. 11 is the angel number um, of them all and as I've been saying your knight and shining armor your person is definitely your guardian angel that's them telling you I am your angel I'm protecting you I'm watching over you um, also these numbers can have very specific meanings to you so if you see like um, a birth date or like anything that's relevant to you like um, an anniversary an age or like whatever resonates that can also be a very specific meaning to you we have the number three here which is about growth three here with the empress card it's your person reminding you that you are you are growing if you can't see it on the outside it doesn't matter yet you need to heal okay and then you will see the results of that powerful growth manifestation of beauty attraction of beauty in every single aspect of your life and the number 20 um means that you will soon feel treated fairly by karma okay there will be balance there will be justice after this break that you need to take 
and um, zero zero is the full energy <laughs> i love how the numbers are kind of like matching here uh, the cards perfectly so zero zero trust that you will have a fresh start you can't see it right now but you will get out of this darkness and out of this grief and find beauty you will attract it if you put in the work you will have a fresh start and then guys uh four four you pick the card four four i love this this also means that you have to be consistent um, with your spiritual journey don't stop do not give up make it a ritual as I've been saying in the reading do all the things that I um, that your loved one said to you in this letter message make it a ritual do not give up okay that's how you will manifest and attract success and beauty into your life and a fresh start Okay. Wow, guys, I love this for you. I really enjoy these number readings. Let me know if you did as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Turn on the bell for notifications so that you will never miss out on a new reading on my channel in the future. Take very good care and until soon, hopefully. Bye. Hi everyone who picked group number two, the card 31 with the worm moon and the message faith on it. This is your reading. By the way, these cards were kindly gifted to me by Alexandra. She's German. So uh, thank you so much, Alexandra, if you're watching. And uh, if you too would like to send in a tower or an oracle card deck, which I would really appreciate, then there's a link in the description box in Amazon wishlist link um yeah and the best way to support me though as always is by liking my videos and commenting on them subscribing turning on the bell sharing them that way you spread the message and more people like you will find my channel so that i can help them through grief and connect them with their loved ones all right so yeah Let's get on with your reading, which will be a um, letter style reading. So when I'll be saying I, I will not be referring to myself as a reader. I'll be referring to loved one's point of view. And I'll also be a little numerology reading at the end of the letter. But let's talk a bit about this uh, card that you chose first. So if you found the reading in real time on the 11th of January, then it's going to be more powerful. 111 one, one is the angel number the biggest of them all. So your person wants to come through with some uplifting energies for you. And I feel like a big message for you here is that you should have faith in the fact that you are loved and guided and protected by the universe and by your loved one. I'm picking up on your energies already and I can feel a lot of despair coming from you. You're feeling drained, you're feeling lonely probably, probably um, and you're feeling very hopeless regarding the future for many different reasons. This will resonate differently for every one of you, but your loved one wants to tell you today that you are absolutely loved. If you can't see it, if you can't feel it, if you're experiencing the opposite in day-to-day -day life, know that after all, life will never throw at you more than you can handle, okay? Your spirit guides are always with you, your guardian angels as well, and your loved ones especially. You're just going through very extreme karmic lessons. And if you're struggling in this world, it just means that you are a higher vibrational being. This world is very dark, has become very dark and no one really can be happy at this time okay so know that there's nothing wrong with you if you're not coping okay especially if you're going through grief my heart goes out to you so much but that's why i want you to have faith again by hopefully receiving a very beautiful resonating angel message from your loved one Think of them with me, okay? Time and space are relevant, so we can channel them together. Think of them with me, please. What do your loved ones want to tell you today? What's their angel message for you today?
Before I start giving you my angel message today, I want to tell you that a strong sign of my presence will be the noise of airplanes in the sky. Or if you see them, know that that's a sign from me telling you that I am your angel in heaven watching over you. Watch out for airplanes. They are very meaningful in our connection. And know that I have so much to say to you. We are so connected and there might be words left unsaid between the two of us. And know that I want to give you all the answers you are looking for because you need many in order to find peace. I'm so sorry how sad my passing has made you. You're feeling empty emotionally and you feel like you have no one left to care about you, to nurture you. But I'm here. I still care about you so much. I'm not gone. I'm only gone physically in spirit. I'm so alive and there's so much I want to tell you, not just today, but always. You are impatiently waiting for signs from me and I don't blame you. I want to give them to you, all the signs that you're asking for, but just know that I can only do so much. I wish I could make literal miracles happen for you, but I can't because we are in different dimensions. We are separated. You are in the physical realms, I'm in the spirit realms. I am doing my very, very best to reach you, which again is why I chose airplanes to reach you. And I'm also choosing rainbow lights or rainbow colors, anything related to rainbows in order to let you know that you should have faith and hope because death is not the end. Focus on this tiny little rainbow reflection, which I hope that you can see. That's me shining a tiny light into your darkness. I know that I can't do as much as you would want me to, or as I would want to, but know that I'm trying my very, very best to reach you. And um, yeah, hopefully you don't have to be patient for that much longer. I really want our spiritual and psychic connection to be much stronger and efficient. You are currently in a very, very dark place and I don't blame you. Grief has done so much to you and my heart goes out to you so much for it, but you are not alone in this world, okay? Always remember that you are not alone. I am your angel. You can't see me, but I hope that you will learn how to feel me and I hope that you will learn to see all the signs I'm sending you. Also look out for birds. Birds and airplanes are there to remind you that I am your angel in heaven. You are protected, you are loved, you are guided. Always remember that. Even though you're feeling alone, you're not alone. I'm with you every step of the way. And you're still alive for a reason. You need to be here on this earth for a reason. But we will reunite, so don't worry about that. We will reunite when the time is right. But the time is not now. You still have stuff to do. And I'm also um, trying to tell you today that my feelings for you are still so, so strong. Just because I lost my physical body does not mean that I don't feel passionate about our connection anymore. I do. I really, really do, which is why I'm so determined to tell you today that you should have faith and trust and hope. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. And even though you're still stuck in that tunnel in some kind of way, I am that light for you in heaven, guiding you through that tunnel. And I'm so 
passionate about my duty as your guardian angel. You have no idea. I will never give up trying to reach you. I will never give up on you. And um, please, if you find it in your heart, then have faith. Because if you have faith, it will get better for you. If you have faith, you attract positive energies into your life and you will find success in any way that you wish. You are heartbroken. I can pick up on your pain because we're so connected. But today, on this very special day that you're finding this message, I want to tell you, do not focus on your pain. It doesn't mean that I don't have any empathy for you. It doesn't mean that your emotions are invalid, but focus on healing, focus on finding the light at the end of the tunnel. If you're stuck in sadness, you will never make it. Your heart is a beautiful rose. So also look out for roses. It has thorns and these horn thorns can sometimes cause pain and hurt. But there's also a beautiful flower with colorful petals and amazing smells that attract beautiful beings such as butterflies and bees that is in you. You carry that beauty within you, even during all the pain that you're feeling. You just need to bring out that inner beauty within by rejecting the grief and the sadness. Leave it in the past, please. I want you to find happiness again. I want you to do well in life and to be successful. You need to do your part of the job as well by focusing on higher vibrations and I'm doing my very best to support you. Have faith, you will find beauty and happiness if you only believe. Find forgiveness in your heart. Forgiveness will set you free. Forgive life for all the hard lessons that it has thrown at you. Forgive people who hurt you in the past and move on. Forgive yourself. Forgiveness will help you a lot on your healing journey. And in case I ever hurt you or failed you in the past, I'm saying sorry and I hope that you can forgive me. And if you feel sorry about anything, then please know that you are forgiven. Everything is forgiven. Everything's okay. Let's move on to better times and better energies. You are on a journey, on a very important journey of reaching higher levels spiritually. So know that all your struggles will pay off if you don't lose faith. If you keep on always choosing the high vibration, it will pay off. You will be rewarded in the heavens and your next lifetime will not be anywhere near as difficult and painful as this one if you put in the work now. And all you need to do really is to move on and forgive, to focus on healing and to have faith. That's all I'm asking you to do. You need to realize that what will help you out the most right now is freedom. Be free like a bird. That's why I'm sending you airplanes and birds, not just to tell you that I'm your angel, but also to remind you that you should be free like a bird. If you truly move on from past pain, there are infinite possibilities for you to find happiness again, to find love, but you need to release some toxic energy from the past. And finally, I want to say to you, that you should always look forward, that you should never look back. 
I've been telling you this throughout the entire reading. Move on from the past. Forgive the past and move on for, from it. Focus on the beauty ahead of you. Focus on freedom. I know it's tough and very challenging and that you're trying your best, but I'm here to protect you. You're not alone. You're never alone. I'm your angel and your other guardian angels are on your side as well. Your spirit team, we're all rooting for you. We're protecting you. You don't have to be scared. You are safe, okay? You will not be disappointed if you have faith. And if you ever go through extremely difficult moments, know that you are loved. I have always loved you. I'm still loving you and I will always love you because love never dies. It's only the physical body, the material things that die and they don't matter. All that matters is love. And I love you so very much. Please love yourself as well. Okay, guys, that was your letter, your angel letter from your person so far, but we're not done yet. Um, I have some, a little um, numerology uh, reading for you at the end, also some relevant messages from your person for your situation. If you haven't watched my numerology angel number reading, maybe you might want to do so and protect your ears because I'm about to drop these dice. It might be a bit noisy. Think of your person. Let's see what else will come through. Wow, again, we have the number zero, zero. Guys, wow, 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 okay. Getting really excited because, guys, <laughs> what's the title of this video? One, 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 and you have literally that. I love this, wow, 11 and one. So this is, such a strong confirmation that your person is your absolute angel, okay? And that this reading was absolutely meant for you to find it, especially if you found it in real time on the 11th of January, then that is super amazing. So trust that you can attract positivity into your life if you manifest. And your way of manifesting will be by having faith and by moving on from the past. We also have a seven, seven, like two, angel three angel numbers in this reading wow um so the number seven is exactly that is about moving on from past pain which your loved one has asked you to do several times really guys make the effort use that chariot energy from the major arcana to move on and to let nothing stop you nothing's in your way okay but yourself and your attachment to past toxic energies. And with the zero zero, which we had in Pi one as well, there will be a powerful fresh start for you. You will be free and happy and able to chase after your dreams and feel loved again if you move on. And then the number nine is extremely powerful. It says that you will find abundance and completion if you channel your own inner sacred knowledge that we all do have. So connect to your spirit guides, okay? Ask them for help. Ask the universe to help you. Channel your loved one and nurture yourself. Meditate. Move on from everything that only causes you pain and you will feel so happy and complete, okay? Guys, I love this reading for you. I hope you did too. If that's the case, then give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on the bell for notifications so that you will never miss out on a new reading on my channel in the future. Take very good care and until soon, hopefully. Bye. Hi, everyone who chose group number three, um, card number seven, which says Waxing Crescent Five and Nourishment. This is your reading. By the way, these oracle cards were kindly gifted to me by Alexandra. Thank you so much if you're watching. If you too would like to send in a tarot or an oracle card deck, which I would really appreciate, then there is an Amazon wish list link down below in the description box. I also have super thanks and a paper link for donations if you want to support me more. I'm 
I'm doing but the best way to help me out as always is by liking commenting subscribing so that you spread the word and help other people like you find this channel so that I can help them through grief okay and connect them with their loved ones but now let's get into your angel message reading today and look at this lovely rainbow here I know that the lighting situation is not ideal but I wanted some sunlight for your group and the sunlight also allows my beautiful window crystals to um shine the reflections on the desk so I hope you appreciate that and don't mind these uh weird light shadow effects here okay but yeah let's say a few words about this card that you felt attracted to nourishment i feel like your loved one wants to reach you today if you found the video in real time on 111 the 11th of january to tell you that you will find nourishment in any way shape or form um i feel like you will be rewarded you deserve a reward for all the hard work you put into whatever you have been investing in. If that's self-love, if that's um, your job, your career or your spiritual connection, you will be rewarded. And your loved one is literally pouring their heart down on you here with this waterfall. And this is a weird message, but for some of you, cheese might be relevant. Maybe you love cheese or your loved one used to love cheese. Cheese, okay, guys, for some of you, cheese will be relevant. Um, and we also have bread here but many different kinds of fruits and water so know that you will be reaping the rewards the fruits of your hard work that's your loved one's message so far but yeah now we will all channel them together and i will be reading out their angelic heavenly message to you and i'll be saying i i'll be referring to your loved one's point of view so please think of them with me and let's see what they want to say to you today You are so strong. You are so powerful. You have been working so hard on achieving your goals. And I'm telling you today that you will be rewarded. If you haven't been rewarded already, know that it's about to happen and you so deserve it. You are so connected to the divine and I want to applaud you for that. I'm so proud of you for staying so strong through all of the hardships, through all the struggles and through grief. You are a wise old soul. You know that karma is a thing, that everything serves a higher purpose. You're very connected to your third eye. You have opened your third eye, so expect many more miracles in your near future. And if ever something good happens to you, it's because of you and the hard work you are putting into everything that you feel passionate about. You are so amazing and high vibrational. I salute you. I am incredibly happy and smiley delivering this message to you because I can see what's coming for you. Absolute abundance is waiting for you if you haven't found it already. You will find heaven on earth in ever way you wish for that to manifest and um, in whatever way you have been working towards it you will feel absolutely accomplished and fulfilled you will be so proud of yourself and i invite you to be proud of yourself i am celebrating your success with you i will be celebrating all of your successes with you and um, again well done for being so strong and putting in so much hard work into whatever it is that you want to achieve and know that our spiritual your bond as well has grown massively because you are so connected to the divine we have an internal bond i know you know this but i'm just reminding you again that love never dies that i'm always with you i am like that little butterfly 
flying around all happy and beautiful and colorfully while you are celebrating your successes and reaping the rewards of your hard, hard work. If you feel like things are stalling, if you are frustrated and you feel like things are stagnating, know that the next thing is literally that burst of success. Also give your time a little break from things. You've been working so hard, you've been so strong and so resilient um, that you need a little bit of a break. And if you do that, you will get some important answers. Spirit will be able to reach you. I will be able to reach you through signs if you just stand still for a minute and know that your success is in your hands. So if you have invested in whatever you have been wanting to achieve, it will happen for you. It will absolutely happen. Just stay strong as always and um, know that it's coming your way. If it hasn't already, I promise you that it is about to happen. I can tell you that in maybe 12 days from now or at the latest 12 months, so this coming year, you will be at such a high, an unprecedented high in your life. And um, if it hasn't happened for you yet, just know that an amazing, amazing reward is waiting for you in uh, whatever sense that you uh, wish for. It could be spiritually, materially, whatever um, resonates for you. If you've been worrying about your finances or about how to support and nurture you and all the people you care about, know that there is absolutely no problem in that regard. You are okay. The universe will provide for you. Fill your cup, fill your loved one's cups. You will always have the material means to live a fulfilled and abundant life. You will experience stability in the physical when it comes to your health and your finances you are safe you are protected and again it's because of your hard work so don't worry about anything everything will happen for you and fall into place for you if it hasn't happened already just be a little bit patient and take this break as a little reminder to relax and uh, keep on manifesting okay I feel like you are at a stage right now where you should um, take a step back, maybe spend some alone, alone time and uh, look for clarity when it comes to questions you've had in your mind. You will receive answers and I will help you. I will be that shining light in your darkness, illuminating you. Um, you don't need a lot of help because, as I've been saying, you are so connected to the divine. Your third eye chakra is open and bright, so you don't have to force it. It will happen for you automatically if you just choose to take a break for a moment, to spend some alone time, to meditate and to connect with me. If you want to talk, then let's have a conversation. Maybe sit down at night, light a candle and watch the light. And what it does, that could be me trying to talk back to you. And um, yeah, know that nothing but happiness and abundance is waiting for you after that little break if you haven't experienced these rewards already. You are maybe struggling to believe that your future will be this happy because um, it could be that um, it hasn't happened for you, this abundance. But I'm here to remind you today 
that it will happen. You are on a very powerful journey. The number seven will be very meaningful to you. You are moving on from hardship and struggle and from this phase in your life where you had to hustle and work so hard to make it through. You're moving on from that and the universe will pour its energies, its love and its physical blessings down upon you if you just believe and um, if you take a step back and just uh, let your energies manifest into physical blessings. I promise you it's happening. It's already happening. Just be a little bit more patient if it hasn't happened already. You don't need to be scared of anything. If in the past, toxic people, toxic situations were affecting your well-being, that is a thing of the past. It will not happen in the future. You have cut ties with this toxic energy. What's waiting for you is nothing but love and blessings, hearts and stars waiting for you. The devil cannot harm you your inner demons they are gone you killed them they can't harm you nothing can harm you nothing is in your way you are free you will see <laughs> the future is waiting for you but I'm telling you today, just be a little bit more patient. I know that might be a little bit triggering for you, but use this phase where nothing's really moving for you to connect to your inner self and to me and your spirit guides. You have such an amazing, bright future ahead of you. I'm telling you the same thing throughout this letter message, but it's only true. You can't see this beautiful future right now, but it is there and it will soon be revealed. Just hang in there, be a little bit more patient and things will fall into place. You will be rewarded. The universe is fair. Karma is fair. Good things are coming your way. If they haven't already, you must have seen some little blessings in your day-to-day -day life. So anything good that happens to you, see that as a little reminder that soon you will be feeling extremely complete and fulfilled and nourished. And if you have any doubts, just talk to me. Spend some alone time. Talk to me. I will give you the answers that you need. Maybe things are feeling a bit chaotic and intimidating to you. You feel like you are um, in the dark or in an emotional roller coaster or even like a physical material roller coaster. It's like being stuck in a tornado. You don't know where left and right is. You don't um, understand what's happening. Everything's happening so fast and you're losing your, um, your grip. But know that this is just the storm that afterwards is followed by the calm and not just calm but pure beauty and i'm telling you that butterflies will be a sign for you from me watch out for butterflies that's me saying i'm with you in this storm and i'm already celebrating your success that is waiting for you and finally i want to say to you that I feel a little bit upset sometimes. Because you don't see how strong you are. You are a strong, strong lion. You are a beast. You do not have to be intimidated by anything or anyone. And it makes me sad that you can't see how amazing and strong and powerful you are. You don't depend on my help. You don't depend on anyone. You can be completely self-reliant and self-dependent because you can make everything happen. You will always fight your way out of the dark. 
That doesn't mean that I don't care and that I won't try my best to protect you and guide you, but it would make me so happy if you realized how strong you are. Be proud of yourself, please, because I am. Please be proud of yourself. It makes me upset that you're not proud of yourself and that you don't see how far you have come. But I can't be upset at you for a long time. I forgive you. I know why you are feeling that way, why you think so little of yourself. I know where it comes from. But I'm reminding you today that you should work on this, okay? But I love you and don't feel sorry about it. And know that I am with you every step of the way. I will never leave. I have never left. My soul, my spirit is with you all the time. I'm all around you. You can always reach me. I will answer back to you through signs, especially butterflies and candlelight. And soon we will be celebrating your success in the very near future. Wow, guys, that was um, your letter message so far, but we're not done yet. You will get some numerology messages from your person as well. So definitely watch my angel number reading if you haven't already, because then you will understand these messages a little bit better. But guys, this is a powerful reading. So whatever you've been going through so far, know that it will change for the better very soon and you'll be so rewarded and you will be nourished because of your own efforts and um, hard work. So don't give up. You're about to have a breakthrough. Don't lose hope, okay? And now maybe protect your ears because I'm about to drop these dice and might be very noisy. See what number messages or sign the person has for you okay oh my god are you kidding me i had this in another group as well and what's the title of this video one 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 again it came through i love how um the universe confirms my work here as well so this is a strong reminder that the universe and your loved one as your angel wants to reach you today with what they've been telling you I absolutely love this. And well, we have the number 12 here, which is this um, hanged man energy here with this card. And it says, you might be thinking that things are stagnating for you and that you are not moving on towards a success and rewarding spot you are. This pause is there for a reason so that you connect to your inner self and um, be a little more grounded and that you relax and, um, you know, just uh, rest for a second because you need it. You've been putting in so much hard work and afterwards you'll be rewarded. We also have, wow, the number, I see this as um, we have 60 and 6. So by the way, all these numbers can also be very specific messages to you like birth dates, anniversary dates, um, your age, your loved one's age, whatever resonates. But I see this as 66. So 66 is nothing to be scared of. It's not the number of the beast. It's the number of love. So your loved one is telling you that you are loved immensely. It's the lover's card and the major arcana. You are loved. They love you. And the number two is them telling you that you will find balance and stability, okay? And that's also like you have caused some imbalance because you've been putting in so much effort and work into things and you feel like um, it wasn't, um, it didn't pay off. But that's a reminder that your cup will soon be filled and that um, you will get these rewards, okay? And you might also get some support either by um, your loved one in heaven, the universe, or an actual person that will come into your life to help you out. This is all about partnership, okay? So, wow, I love this reading. I really hope you did as well. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on the bell for notifications so that you will never miss out on a new reading on my channel in the future. Take very good care and until soon, hopefully. Bye.